Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will configure DMJ zone and also I will create a policy. So how can we do that? Let's start this video. First identify which port is free. So in my case there is three ports and port C is free. This is not configured. So I am going to click on port C and I am, uh, when you select then uh, it is none. Then we need to select DMZ zone and uh, here we need to identify the IP address. So my DMZ zone IP address will be 10.10.100. .10 so I, I need to create 10 to 110.1 and uh, this is my server's IP range so I am going to create 128 subnet so I don't want to create more IP because uh, these uh, network for uh, our servers so servers will be communicated via uh, LAN so uh, LAN clients are IP different and uh, DMZ IP will be different so we need to create click on the save and click on update interface so in my case I will give differences on the both so you need to wait it is saving and uh, it is little bit taking time to refresh this page and you can see uh, and our port C is DMZ zone we have successfully configured now as a create port now how can we create uh, LAN to DMZ and DMZ to LAN communication. So in my case, you can see port A is my LAN and interface IP is and, and, and under the port A, we have multiple interface. You can see these are in, uh, VLANs are created on the, uh, port A and port C is DMZ zone and our all servers, EXI servers, uh, file servers, application server will be uh, run on DMZ zone. So now I am going to create firewall rule. So go to firewall rule, create rule. Here you can give name DMZ line to DMZ firewall rule. Here you can select top. Here you can click on none, accept all traffic source LAN our LAN and source devices here I need to identify which network we are allowed to communicate servers okay which network so in my case I can click on network but you can see because I have uh, LAN client client network for server server either can get dmz okay and hi will here will we need to identify ip range here we can uh, do anything like there is multiple options but uh, 172.16.16 dot hundred dot hundred to two hundred I have created IP range you can uh, you can create a Mac base uh, you can create Mac base you can get IP base the, here a lot of information you can create like this so IP range Mac address network type network type you can do anything anything so I am allowing LAN and these devices and here we can identify uh, uh, schedule only office working hour then you can select on all weekend or working hours five day so you can create this rule because when users in the office then they can use on this policy after that destination destination our dmz zone and here you can uh, create 
like it should spy the list of servers which servers they want to communicate either you can uh, allow all range uh, for these clients or you can uh, create one uh, particular one servers but in case i am creating uh, range so our range is 10.196.168 10. dot 10 dot 100 100 to 115 on these uh, uh, we i have 15 servers so dmz server ip like do you can create click on save so uh, now line join this and these are clients on line network and this policy will work on a week five day and destination dmz and servers ip range this and here you need to create services which services they want to access you can click on don't click on any otherwise they will access rdp anything so you need to click on a particular port like htt https and uh, like depends on your requirement uh, which uh, applications are running on uh, where so in my case i am going to click on http and this one you can uh, give a correct port so that you can they users can access only that resources otherwise they can access rdp they can access ping they can uh, generate lot of traffic so your server will be hang so you you need to do like this okay so this is your directions after that here you don't need to create a uh, uh, net rule here is nothing we need to do and just we need to click on and scan to email uh, we need to check no we don't need to do this is a right direction how you can do i am doing the same in my uh, corporate company i have also guided to lot of members who join, join my training portals you can do like this so this is our uh, firewall rule land to dmz so if you not understand then you can call me uh, then i uh, you can uh, contact me on my youtube channels i will definitely uh, ping you uh, i will reply on the your com emails comments and uh, do like this so you can create your more secure net, uh, communications from land to servers and uh, there is uh, good role in the firewall so if anything happen then your firewall will be block that traffic so always your servers are safe and your network are working on the different segment and your server working on a different sub segments so you uh, desktop users laptop users don't know where is the servers and what is the server ip because all ip are different so you can do like this thank you so much for watching my youtube channel video jai hind